when you get to those numbers, when you're talking about trillions and billions and th- all those zeros, my brain just goes numb. Right? There's this lack of comprehension that I'm, I'm well aware of. Like those numbers get thrown about. I go, oh, 200 billion. Hmm. No, and it's just, I think everybody does. I think every, every scientist, that, no scientist can picture that number. I mean, even the small number, 200 billion, <laughs> the, the number of stars number, right. in one galaxy. And then when you say two trillion galaxies, you know, that, that's, I challenge anyone to be able to picture that. But it is the reality that we've observed. We've, you know, we, and we haven't counted all two trillion, by the way. We have, we have a thing called the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, which maps the positions of galaxies. So you, can, you know how much of the sky you've surveyed, and you know how many galaxies you've counted, and then you can spread that across the wider universe. And you get this picture of a vast and possibly infinite universe. I mean, we, we know that the universe, or very strongly suspect, that the universe is much bigger than the piece we can see. So we have good reason to think that's the case. Whether it's infinite or not is another question. And then that goes to your, you know, the, can you picture infinity? Well, no one can picture infinity. It's, no. a, it's a weird thing as well. That, you know, we, we say the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. So that's a measurement because we can measure the speed that all the galaxies are flying away from us, essentially. And then you, so you can run time backwards, if you like, to, to find out when they're all on top of each other. And so it's a quite simple measurement. And we've done that. So we say the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. But actually, all we know really was the universe was very hot and very dense at that time. And we have some theories that the universe was in existence before that, and perhaps some sort of circumstantial evidence. And that means that actually the universe could, could have always been there, eternal. And then when, when I talk to people sometimes, they get a bit, some people get upset about that. Some people would rather it had a beginning. 